All right, in making the zip line, the first step that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna tie a string around a sock. So get it wrapped around, do a couple knots. Doesn't have to be anything crazy, just um, enough that the string's not gonna go anywhere. After we've tied the string around the sock, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang it on the other side of the door. And then when I close the door and I pull on the string, I now have tension and we haven't taped it. We haven't tied it to anything. And when I'm ready to take it down, I just need to open my door and there's my sock. So around the door, close it and then pull it tight. All right, so the next task is you're gonna to need to secure the end of the zip line to furniture or something on the other end. I like using a chair because a chair you can pull and twist how you need. So what I do is I've got a little bit of tension on it. Some of the string is still touching the ground. I'm gonna wrap it and all I'm gonna do, we're not gonna tie any knots, we don't need any knots. I'm just gonna use the friction of the string being wrapped around. So I'm gonna wrap it around a couple times on that leg and then a couple times on this leg and then just kind of like throw it up and over the chair or however, however you want. So we got a little bit of friction and then all I'm gonna do is turn the chair and what that's doing is that's putting more tension on that string and I'm just gonna keep turning it until it's nice and tight. And it, a chair has a little give too, so what, what you wanna do is pull it tight and let it settle, and then that should be a good enough tension. So I've got my zip line set up. It's going all the way down from the door to the chair, but you'll notice that my zip line's not moving. And I did everything right. I, I took it, I put it right there on the line. Everything's, everything's good. It's not really catching because it, it will sort of go, but it's not going well. And so there's two things that it could be. One, it could need more weight or the overall angle of my string isn't steep enough. So let's try both solutions. All right, I've added more weight to the bottom of my zip line. So then I set it so it's on the string and I let go. And look at that, it's going much better. Okay, so my chair was over there and I moved it here. And what that did is instead of it kind of coming this way, now it's a steeper angle coming down. So let's see if that solved our problem. And that was much faster. So there's two takeaways that I want you to have from the zip line design when you set up your track. The first is you want it to be steep enough that it can do the basic design, but you also want it to be long enough to have fun. So this basic design might not work right away. You might have to add some more weight. So use something like a chair to attach it to that you can move back and forth so that it's a little more modular. All right, good luck.